Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Meriden Gaming and today we're going to be trying Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey. This is made by the same company that made Assassin's Creed so you know there's going to be a lot of running and jumping involved but some really great scenery as well. Uh, the reason I really wanted to play this is it's a survival game but you take one of the early hominids and you progress through the generations but you have to learn how to use tools like rocks and stones and then you can compound those tools to make you know stone tools like knives and whatnot and you have to discover food and water safe places and form a colony and eventually as you as you progress through you'll you will eventually become the children and as they grow up and you just basically keep switching those but then you have the ability once you learn a lot of these techniques and tools and skills to evolve into the next form and that's basically what the whole game is about it's trying to go faster than what science thinks happened you know evolve faster than, than what they believe so uh, and it also works on you see right here you see the pictures these are the neural links you have four main skills that you have motor skills communication senses like smelling and hearing and intelligence which also sight falls into intelligence and you're trying to use these skills and they break off and you have all these little you know advanced skills and you're trying to use those to evolve yourself anyway let's start a new lineage yes we want to overwrite let me go up into the field And let's get started. I played it once uh, or a couple times before, so we're gonna go to survival, and we'll pick a female. These females are a little bit easier to start with because there's typically two to three males outside the base. Because we're gonna start off by ourselves, and we'll have to go find someone, find a stranger, help them. And then you have to mate, have a baby, and that's when the real game begins. Because you can't really learn anything. I mean, you learn like what a piece of food is or something like that. But you can't learn any of the skills until you have a baby to teach the skills to. That's how you actually progress. So, first things first, we're going to grab one of these. And we're going to hold X to inspect. So that's a piece of food. There's three different types of hominids. You have the babies, which are what you carry around with you to help teach things. You have the adults, like what we currently are. We have the elders. Now the elders don't have as much stamina, but what they do have is, after you get a certain uh, bit away from your main base, we have to go grab another one before we can... Actually, we might be able to settle now. Let me check. But uh, once you get so far away, the standard ones, the babies and the adults, uh, have this fear of the unknown. But the elders do not have that problem, so they can go out further and gather resources and whatnot. Oh, I can settle now. So, this is a good spot to start. It's fairly protected, you don't worry about enemies. So we'll settle that. And now we'll go find us a mate. And uh, usually there's three or four out here. Um, males and females. So now we're going to go over the same. We have intelligence. So you hold Y. You can, as you can see, yeah, look, there's three males out there. And what you can do is you can hold over, which on the characters it's going to be a little circle and it's going to turn dark hold Y to identify that's a hominid so that's one of us you also have a sense of smell so we're going to select the second guy hold X and now we know that's another hominid the last one is hearing we just heard again now we have our senses unlocked. So that's the three main things you use to, to interact with the world. Using the controller, which I suggest, 
left stick is movement, right stick is camera. If you hold down A, you'll run, and if you let go of A, you will jump. And as you are jumping, your character will grab onto anything solid, like decent sized branches and tree trunks, rocks. You can climb vertical environments here. But to go through like the smaller branches with the leaves on them, you have to hold A so that he, he or she will grab on. Okay. Okay, so you have to gauge what they are doing to know what they need. Okay, so this one here, he's holding his head, so that means he needs a cracked coconut, which we don't have access to right now. I think, actually, maybe he just needs food. Let me get over on this other branch and approach him. Nope, nope, go down the branch. Down, nope. There we go. It's all about the right angle. We're going to try to give him this... Okay, that's not what he wants. You have to try to figure out based on the clues. Oh, he looks like he's thirsty. Uh, yeah, I think he's thirsty, which we don't have access to that. That one looks like he's sick, which we also don't have access to the coconut to heal that. Which is a pain, and where's the last one? What's he doing? He's scared, so we can we can recruit him. We just have to go comfort him, and then he will become our clan mate. Because the problem is, to crack the coconuts, you actually have to have the baby, and you have to get to the second tier of skills. You've got to be just the right angle to comfort him. Pretty sure. Here we go. No, oh, I didn't hold it. Line up. But they're there. Okay, so now he is with us. Since he's a male and we are a female, now we can mate and have a child. So here we go. Let's go back to our area. It'd be fun getting back over there. Eight. Jump. Okay, there we go. And that's one of the best parts about this game is the movement. Um, let's see. Jump this way. Grab the branch. Move along. Grab that branch. And the thing is, you have to remember to use your momentum. Because if you, if you just hang on to the branch and you don't keep moving with it, you won't have the momentum to, to jump further. And you can drop fairly far. Alright, so... I'm gonna eat real quick. I'm gonna come right over here and in the expedition. So now he's part of our clan and knows where our settlement's at. So we're gonna stop that. Okay, now we need to analyze him. Adult male, single. Now we're going to groom. This is how you form a couple. And I didn't let go of it in the right time. And you just keep bonding until it forms a couple. A couple forms. Okay. Now, we come lie down. Call our mate over. And we mate. And that will allow us to have a baby if she is fertile right now, which you can have up to two children. And, yep, new pregnancy, so let's give birth. Just one new baby. Now we'll go ahead and go for the second, in case we... 
Heaven forbid, lose one. And get work. Now we can start learning things. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get up. We're gonna grab one of the babies. Which we actually don't have to have the baby to do this part, but we can. And you can carry up to two babies, but you're more likely to lose them, of course, if you do die. Now we're going to look at evolution. Here's the mainstay of the game. Carry the babies around, they learn stuff with you, and you start getting points. And use the points to unlock these neural networks. Apparently I did not do enough for the motor skill. We'll do that in a minute. Okay. So you got intelligence, like I said. Senses. No, mo motricity? Motor skills. And communication. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock this. And you have to use the points that are in the center to unlock them. So if you just noticed, I did have that one little white dot in the center. Now it is gone because I used it here. But this whole thing can fill up, and as you use your skills, these little black ones will fit, will unlock, and you can learn advanced skills. So right now, I want to learn this, just so I can find the resources at longer distances, and then we want to work on motor motricity as well. Now, the next thing is, based on the number of babies in your clan, you have reinforcements. So basically. As you progress through the game, you'll have the ability to advance your generation. So basically, the adults become elders, the babies become adults, and you can start using the adults, or the what were the babies. So you want to have as many of these as you can because you basically have to lock in points. Like these first little four that were around the circle, those automatically are. And these other ones, if you don't reinforce them, you'll lose them. Although, it may be when you evolve that you lose them. But yeah, here's the whole base of the game, is that we're trying to evolve faster than what scientists would. And you can leap forward based on land, so we need to explore to expand. So we will do that. So now we have a baby, now we can start learning things. Like, what's this rock right here? Well, let's grab it, and we inspect it. And since the baby is with us, when we inspect this, it should give us a few points. You see, it did a little circle thing, that means we gained a few points. Now, I don't really need this piece of its obsidian right now, but later we'll be able to make tools out of it. And if we go into our intelligence and we go over the area that Brock came from, it will tell us that that's a spawn point. And you can choose to remember it if I hold the Y again. And then I can see it from further away. So this is good on rare resources. Which, I know this is in my area, so I'm going to forget that it's there because I know where it's at. We can also do it over all these little plants. Once we discover what the plants are, those question marks become the icons for the plants. Okay, so next we're going to use smelling, so we can discover stuff through smell as well. And look, we matured as our senses again. So if we go back over here now that we've matured them, Lie down and evolve. Look, see, now we've unlocked one. Let's look at it. Uh, we don't have enough points to unlock it. That's complete. So we'll have to wait till we get some more points. You have to use points to unlock it just to see what it is, and then you have to hold down the button and it will allocate points to it. Senses and smell around. So 
Okay. Because this gets rid of the fear of the unknown. If you see the little, you see the little red eyes and the gray smoke, that means we fear it because we don't know what it is yet. And this will help us discover everything. And a bit of a pain because I will literally go through and look for every single little bit that I can find. All right, all these discovered. that we can do via hearing. Well, we can listen to him so we know what he sounds like. We can listen to the baby. Oh, and B is also communicated if you don't have this open. Okay, so now we're going to grab one of these and inspect. Alright, so now we got a little white dot in the center, so that means we've got a few points. We can also eat this. Now we've got berries added. So we're gonna come over here and grab one of the plants. Inspect. And now if you notice, if we come over here to intelligence, now we can see all those ones that were question marks. Now that we know what they are, it shows the icon. And while we're here, we're going to create another bed. So the way to create a bed, you can do this out in the world too, not just in your settlement. You're going to drop a branch. And we're going to have to do this four times. Add the file. Two more times. And look, now it has the ability to construct something. So we're going to hold Y until it constructs. Then we're going to build it by tapping the A button. And look, now we have another bed. Let's look at that evolution we just unlocked. So now we have the motor skills, which is what we need. This is what's going to allow us to use more advanced tools and techniques. So you really want to put points into this and this. Well really points into everything, but we really want a few points into this. We got dexterity, electricity, electricity, growing, oh, see settlement, it's another motor skill. Okay. And unlock communication, so it allows us to gather so now we can gather all clan mates together. We still haven't done enough intelligence, but we're about to. Okay. So next we're going to discover a dead branch. Next, I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm used to a PlayStation on an Xbox controller on a computer. So this one has a cord, so it works better. So now we found a dead branch. And not only and you pile up leaves to create something, but you can do the same thing with branches as well. So let me put it right here. Let me go grab a few more. The old A you can run. You let go of A, you jump. Let me grab one. There's a reason I'm placing it here. Which we'll see in a minute. That's basically all this game is, is discovering new things and surviving in a very hostile environment because there are all kinds of things like giant eagles and tigers, I think they're tigers, maybe they're called lions, I don't remember. Snakes, two types of snakes, one is venomous, another one constricts you, you got warthogs that are angry at you, um, this should be the last one, crocodiles. And then there's like snails and frogs and stuff like that. Okay, and now we can construct again. So let's construct and then start building. Look at that. Now we've got a barrier. This will help protect us. Alright. 
Oh, and we did not discover water yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, scooped up, we're going to inspect it. Don't forget, we have to have that baby on our back. But we also have to manage our hunger, or our food intake, our water intake, and our sleep per day. Okay, let's see what we discovered. I think we already discovered that, didn't we? Let's find out. Yes, we did. The horse tails, the... Oh, I thought we already discovered that. What is it? Oh. But we didn't highlight on it, did we? Yep. That way we know where everything is at. And stuff will respawn slowly. Got all those. And the thorn bushes we won't be able to discover until we have the ability to use both our hands on one object. Go ahead and grab one of these. wonder what this is. Oh, actually we already have the ability to switch hands. I guess that was the first mo mo motricity or whatever they call it. Granite rock. So actually we can go... Unlock those other two people. Mushrooms. Alright, let's inspect it. Alright, it's a new type of food. Let's try it out. You don't learn anything without trying. Oh no. Look, now we're sick to our stomachs. But it gave us a resistance to berry poisoning. So it's kind of a trade-off a lot of things are. Later we will probably learn how to, to cook those or something similar to help make them safe to eat. Let's get out of the rain because we're cold. We should be able to sleep until the morning time. You have to sleep at least four hours, I believe. You'll see dreams start showing up like that. See, there they are on cue. We're going to go ahead and sleep until six. That's when dawn starts. There we go. Okay, yeah, now you see the regimen. That means I need to... You're trying to get those as big as possible. Which we did pretty well at keeping ourselves alive. We need to drink some more water. And then we're going to go out and try to recruit those other two individuals. But, I need a rock. And you'll see why later. So, the one that was holding his head had a headache or was sick or something like that. The other one was throwing up sick. So, what they actually need in that tree right down there. What type of trees does that look like? Did you say a palm tree? It would be correct. And what do palm trees have? Find down. Coconuts. So we are going to climb down here. And go up this real quick. Okay, so we got the rock in our right hand, so we're going to have to switch hands to the rocks in our left hand so that we can grab a second item now because we leveled up our electricity. By the way, you can drop down holding the R1 trigger. Okay, now we need to switch hands again so that the coconut is in our left hand. And now we have this new option. I thought we did. 
Apparently we don't. Oh. I forgot to inspect. Let me inspect the coconut. Since I played before, I forget what I've inspected and what I haven't. New food. Okay, so now that we know it's a food, but we can't eat it quite yet. Switch hands. And now we have this option on the left that says alter. We hold until we have that. Then we're going to hold the right trigger until we get that little sound. We're going to keep hitting it until... It cracks. And now we have a cracked coconut. That is what those other two hominids were looking for. Because it has healing properties and it's also a drink so they're no longer thirsty. But we couldn't do this until we had a baby. Okay. The problem is now I have to find him again. Okay, there he is. The thing is, you can climb with your hands full. Which doesn't sound right to me, but whatever. Okay, so we gotta switch hands. Oh, we dropped it. Well, we can get that back in a second. Except we gotta get it at the right angle. Now let's try giving it to him. Okay, apparently that's not what he wanted. I'm not sure what he needs then. Because I. It's always ever been a coconut or the horsetail. don't know. Well, there's some mangoes right here. Let's try those. I'm going to grab it. We're going to inspect it. Let's try giving this to one of them. Oh, okay. Apparently he just needs normal food. Let's grab the other one. See if that's what this one needs too. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what he needs. We'll take the other guy back to our clan. Back to our area. I do love the movement in this. Well, this is probably a good place to stop. We found two new clan mates to join us. We've got a baby, and watched well, two babies, so now we can learn skills. We even unlocked a few skills. Uh, so we'll continue playing this next time. I'll try to keep these under 30 minutes, because anything over that, it's a little bit long to watch. So uh, this is Mirrodin Gaming. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And next time, we'll see you in the jungle.